turn him down. I won't do it. Coward. <laughs> ah, I'm a people pleaser. Always a pleasure to see. Was there a birthday coming up while we were talking about Persona 3? There is a birthday coming up, yes. Mitsuru. <laughs> I would be very surprised. My actual guess is Marianne. <laughs> okay. Uh, why? Uh, come now. You like have Marianne? no need to be on guard. <laughs> I'd never cause you harm. You're far too valuable a specimen, uh, well, that is to say, too valuable a member of the Academy staff. Indeed, the further my crest research progresses, the closer you come to learning the truth of your heritage. Is it not so? When I learned you bore the lost crest, the very crest of flames itself, I set about learning everything I could about your past. What was the origin of your bloodline? How have the events of your life been shaped by your lineage? I became somewhat obsessed, I must admit. Uh, you investigated me? Nothing so crass as an investigation. No, I researched. I spoke to mercenaries whom you've worked with in the past to learn about your life before the Academy. I think that's called an investigation. <laughs> of course, I also contacted Gerald and his mercenary friends. Your father does keep rather interesting company. I'm excited to share with you what I learned, but I do ask that you correct me if I am mistaken on any account. The story begins with Gerald serving as captain of the Knights of Seros. There was a woman at the monastery with whom Gerald was quite close. At first, it seemed obvious this mystery woman was your mother. Alas, that cannot be the case. The timing is all wrong. As it was told to me, the woman in question passed away shortly before Gerald left the monastery. Yet your birth occurred sometime later, while Gerald was taking work as a mercenary. This, of course, presumes your age is accurately reported. If you were born sooner, well, the story would be quite different, would it not? Uh-huh. It is intriguing, though, yes? Why is your age so difficult to pin down? Yeah. Why is this old guy trying so hard to figure out Byla's age right now? <laughs> didn't, didn't we have a conversation trying to figure out Byla's age? <laughs> Well, yeah, but we're, like, not in Byleth's universe looking at a young that's, woman that's, being like, that's are you true. legal? Uh, well, yeah, okay. I didn't think of it that way. <laughs> For example, Gerald never once spoke of his time serving as captain of the Knights. That's quite a secret to keep for all those years. In the end, your old acquaintances had little definitive to say about either of you. However, they all agreed on one thing. Your father and yourself were a strong pair. Warriors to be respected and feared. You in particular. In fact, many came to know you as the Ashen Demon. They say you would destroy your enemies without a hint of emotion on your face. The mercenaries I spoke to revered you as a living legend of sorts. So, that is what I learned. And, I admit, it is barely more than I knew before. The next step in my research is to ask your blood for answers, and hope that it is more forthcoming than your past acquaintances. Um, do give this man your blood. They're not available for an interview right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're on vacation, come back later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Marianne! Please be Marianne. I think Marianne's might have already passed. I don't remember. Oh, what about another conversation Stop instead? Stop interrupting. <laughs> oh, this guy. No, it's a great time. Guys Thank you for your help the other day, Professor. Please, allow me to express my gratitude by taking you to dinner. Hey. Yeah. Real quick, I just wanted to say, because I thought I'd be able to, I didn't think we'd get interrupted by another thing. But oh, yeah. Hanneman's whole spiel about the Ashen Demon, I just want to shout out Three Hopes again for making Byleth actually feel like what the Ashen Demon is supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, Three Hopes does Byleth so much better. <laughs> it does. Uh. And it does it not at the cost of their main character, because the main character you control in that game, they also do well with. Yeah, yeah, they're they're pretty solid. Uh, it, No, I would be delighted. I like food. Give me food. Nom, nom, nom. Fantastic. Please think about what you'd like to eat. After all, 
Such magnificent guidance must work up quite an appetite. I've studied swordsmanship for some time, but your mercenary skills are something else entirely. Speaking of which, there's another question I must ask you. Were you reconciled with the reality of battle from your first foray? With the killing part, I mean? Uh... Mm, I hadn't the luxury of questioning it. Where's the option to just say, like, Let's yeah? See. <laughs> it's like, I love killing people. It's so much fun. <laughs> uh, I could you? go for a spot of murder right now. <laughs> no. I do not carry that burden well. I doubt that will change, no matter how many years come and go. The first time I led on the battlefield, I was sent to quell a rebellion in the West. It was not a difficult fight. The enemy was not well trained, and their morale was low. A swing of the lance, and your opponent falls. A flash of your blade, and a path opens up. That's the sort of battle it was. Easy, right? Uh, do what you had to do. That's one way to look at it. The leader of the rebel army was defeated, and the rebellion quelled. This was at the height of the post-war period. I recall coming across a dead soldier's body. He was clutching a locket, and inside was a lock of golden hair. I don't know to whom it belonged. His wife? His daughter? Mother? Lover? I'll never know. He was a so soldier. You attached it to your bangs, enemy. and that's why you have <laughs> someone spaghetti. cut down without hesitation. <laughs> yeah, that's where that extra, that extra little bit of hair, that's where it came from. Yeah. <laughs> it all makes to sense. To always remember. <laughs> but in that moment, I realized he was also a real person. Just like the rest of us. Of course, we cannot stand idly by and allow anyone to commit senseless acts of violence. Yet, in dispensing what we call justice, we take the lives of cherished family members. Beloved friends. Killing is part of the job, but even so, there are times when I'm chilled to the bone by the depravity of my own actions. Uh, it's normal to feel that way. Is it? Perhaps you're right. I pray that you are. Professor, may I speak freely? When we first met, I thought of you as someone who felt no strong feelings about killing your enemies. I could never trust someone who kills without batting an eye. My heart won't allow it. But after speaking with you and getting to know you better, I can see you're not like that. Now I know, with all my heart, that I can trust you. Thank you for that. He thinks I care about my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> what a fool. Alright, let's see if anybody else interrupts us. Marianne. Marianne. Marianne! Oh, who cares? Cyril. Literally no world where I would ever guess it. Alright, tea party it is! No, nice. it's flowers. Why did you even give him flowers? I have 25,000 gold, and I'm pretty sure I still have an extra large And you just wasted 200. Sold. Okay, so if you have, like, a $200 <laughs> bill, you're like, I'm going to throw $2, like, down the the drain just because I can. Yeah, I mean, it's still going to a person, so it's like, you is know. It, is it going to a person? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, she was a person. How's this going to mm, Debatable. I'm a quick study. <laughs> All right. I uh, want you to know that because I um, because I'm doing this fire emblem with you in the morning instead of just waking up and telling you no, I'm sick. That if I can't go longer than three hours for my Persona 3 Reload stream later today with my voice, I'm blaming you. <laughs> no, that would be that would be sad. Oh gosh, there's a couple things I didn't do. I still you could have thirty six thousand four hundred dollars right now if you weren't stupid. <laughs> I should make. I, I need to remember to oh, promote Dimitri into a lord. Yo, Lord outfit looking kind of slick. Not yeah, I actually do really like that. Good results. If only we could put like a bowl on his head. Yeah, I don't think. Oh no, he does. I, I was like, does he have an advance? No, I don't think he he doesn't have a unique thing. I think after this, he keeps this until uh, you either put him in a different class or maybe post time skip. He gets in the same way that like Claw Nadal Guard. They're, yeah, they all get a unique one post time skip. Okay, I didn't remember if there was an advanced one that you had time for or not. Uh, okay, everybody everybody else is like where they need to be, right? He was the last one. I think so. Nobody's maxed anything. Okay, so we're good there. 
Uh, I almost forgot about my battalions. I also want to check the one thing when I was looking. I forgot about my my new battalion that I got. I don't know if it's a... Okay, it's another B1. Wait, didn't Dimitri hit B? Dimitri did hit B. Oh, look at him. Okay. Well, this is... I like this, actually. Uh, let me look at these ones. Mm. Oh, more stride. That I don't even use that much. So now the the king mice can go to somebody else that can do C ranks. Like Ash. Oh, but he's got Blaze. Blaze is cool. Is there any other option? Ingrid, but you don't use physical things. Well, well, well. That's rude. What is the what is the thing that Ash has? Oh, that was also a C. Well, well. I guess I'll just keep that. Mm. No, I'm going to keep his kingdom nice. We'll, I'm going to save Blaze for the next person to hit C rank. Uh, whatchamacallit. That seems fair. Um, but yeah, we got some supports. We should probably do that. Okay, not that many. Let's pop off. Uh, Mercedes Wait, hasn't... dog. <laughs> Let's see who Mercedes... Okay, it's Mercedes to do. Mercedes hasn't gotten to talk in a while, I'm pr uh, pretty sure. Ah, I think I get it. So the Sky God got into an argument with the Earth God. Then Dusker was created? <laughs> to oversimplify it somewhat, yes. <laughs> There's something so mysterious about it. There are only mountains separating us from Dusker. But it's like a completely different world. This has been so interesting. I've never learned so much about it before. There are not many left to pass on the legends of Dusker. Really? That's a shame. It's almost like when someone dies, or a family line ends. I think a place is only truly destroyed when there's no one left to remember it. You should tell more people about Dusker to keep it alive. That is a strange thing to say. Oh? Why do you think that? Dusker is forever the enemy of Fargus. No one cares about our culture or history. I'm different, though. I don't know anyone who was killed by the people of Dusker. I don't hold a grudge against you, and I never have. Um, Didu? Is this recipe from Dusker? You don't care for it. No, no. I was actually surprised by how much I enjoyed it. Would you teach me how to make it soon? But it seems I am ever the teacher with you. And seldom the student. You're right. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, I have an idea. My mother taught me to bake the perfect sweets to go with tea. Would you like to learn how to bake them? It's a secret Martreats family recipe that's been passed down for generations. House Martreats of the Empire? I thought they were no more. It's true. My father's family was wiped out in the Empire. I'm the last living descendant. Are you certain you wish to impart such precious memories to me? Of course. Now that my family's gone, I'm the only one who knows the secret. The sweets would vanish from Bodlin if something happened to me. I see your point. Yes, I would like to learn. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I feel like multiple characters have asked to do about like what Dusko was like and about things that he knows and learned. He's like, nobody cares about Dusker. Meanwhile, everyone's just like, hey, tell me more. <laughs> uh, let's let's oh, see what dog. Oh, it's Felix Sylvain. So probably not dog. Oh, well, baby. actually, it might be dog. Now we'll we're see. <laughs> Sylvain, I want to apologize for the other day. The other day? What are you talking about, Felix? Is this a trap? You know, when I called you insatiable. Oh, that? Can't say it didn't hurt, but you have nothing to apologize for. I mean, you've said worse, Felix. <laughs> Considerably worse. <laughs> Come on, we've known each other since we were kids. We're not going to let your constant verbal abuse get in the way of our friendship, are we? Me and Michael? No, <laughs> right. <I suppose> not. <laughs> whenever I started doing something dumb, you'd yell at me about it. And whenever you dragged me into something, Ingrid would find out and start lecturing us. All these years, and not much has changed, has it? But you're different, Felix. 
You used to be so, I don't know, carefree when we were young. Now you're the exact opposite. Well, you're not any different. Good for nothing then, good for nothing now. Yeah, me and Again Michael. with the abuse. <laughs> this from the guy who's always been by that good for nothing side. So, did you come to apologize or to insult me? I was on my way to train and I saw you. That's all. You're off to train again? Now who's insatiable? Better than sitting idle like you. A little idleness would do you some good, pal. Come on, let me buy you something to eat. No. You have to choose, Felix. Our friendship or your training. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My training. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye for now. What did... Is he... Wait, Felix. I'll come train too. Wait up. <laughs> what I love it. I love it so much. That's what happens when you make threats that you're not ready to follow up on. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. This will end our friendship. Bet. <laughs> it's like, okay, he immediately so. turns and walks now. <laughs> Dude, I love Felix. Uh, I also really, I do like Sylvain. His early supports paint him so poorly, but yeah. his later supports he, He's got back. some good ones, though. Uh, and some yeah. more good ones coming up, I'm sure. Yeah, but I, I love Felix. What a character. He's always with that man from Dusker. How strange. I'll bet he used some dirty tricks to gain his favor. That's how those scoundrels from Dusker operate. What a pleasant conversation you seem to be having. May I join? Please, continue. Oh, um, your highness. I, I was just... I said continue. I... I... I'm sorry, your highness. <sighs> Such foolishness runs rampant. I fear it is the reality of Fargus for now. It must appear strange to them to see me always in your company. Does it bother you to do? Of course not. However... Let me guess. You take exception to the gossip that you use dirty tricks to obtain your position. Is that it? That does perturb me. But not for my own sake. I am concerned about your highness's reputation. We're not talking about my feelings, but yours. As far as I'm concerned, those fools can talk nonsense until their tongues fall out. I am afraid I cannot agree. But if you were not concerned for your honor in this instance, then why did you intervene? Because it is my duty to do so. The day my father was killed, I saw the swine who did it. They were not of Dusker. I saw that, knew it beyond a doubt, and yet I was unable to prevent the massacre that followed. Nor could I clear away the dishonor of regicide that has unjustly clung to you and your people. I will not rest until I make up for that. I owe you, just as I owe the spirits of those I let die. I do consider Fargus to be abhorrent. But you are an exception. You offered me your hand, and pulled me out from an abyss of suffering and death. You risked your life to save a foreigner you had never met. The moment you extended your hand, I decided that only for your sake would I live the remainder of my life, and I would cast it aside in an instant if my death were to your benefit. For that reason, I cannot consider myself your friend. There are still many in the kingdom who despise the people of Dusker, it would be selfish of me to stand by your side as an equal. To do. Your Highness? Do you really believe I care one bit about the chatter of the ignorant? Of course not. Please forgive my impudence. I understand the intention of your words. Still, they grieve me. If you wish it so, you may continue to think of yourself as my vassal. I clearly cannot stop you. We need not be anything more or anything less. If that is what you wish to do, so be it. <sighs> Your Highness. All right. It's actually crazy how much of a parallel there is between Hubert and Dedu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty one to one. Um, I think we're But it's just so different because of who they're the vassal for. Yeah. I have these two quests that I assume are going to get me just like run out and stuff. Uh, they're also level yeah, 11, nice. which means I'm just going to like run through them really quickly. Do it. So I should have enough time to do these two battles and then the chapter 7 mission. That'll definitely take a while. So we'll see. Commit, die. Yeah. That's the plan. Do a barrel roll. Oh, literative oh. banished bandits. Well, it was actually one thing that I wanted to remember to do. 
I remember seeing. Yeah, it was yours. Does it have to do with uh, refilling your battalions by any chance? Thanks a bunch. I already did that, but I can do it again. Oh, your iron sword. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. I was like, I want to make Man, sure that you were people... bearing. I just buy I new things. I let them break and then buy new things. I usually do as well, but I actually think that this uh, is a faster process. Is that the one? Thanks a bunch. Probably should just be faster like faster and not cheaper, because if you said cheaper after throwing two hundred dollars of flowers <laughs> into the void that is Cyril's birthday, I would have been furious. Yeah. No, because what I, your I literally as I hit that, I was like, wait, let me go back. Yeah, there's no battalions to replenish. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, no, don't you start with me like I'm the one being unreasonable <laughs> here when it comes to you and battalions. Oh, I can just uh, yeah, but let's get out of here. Yeah, that works for me. More like buy left. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Gosh. All right, I'll let you. I'll let you attach to Catherine. Cause you probably have supports. I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> Why? And probably everyone has an A support minimum with Byleth. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure as well, but I, I don't remember Catherine Byleth supporting. Let me be honest. <clears throat> It's a good thing we're going to see it then, Here isn't goes. it? Yep. 